Hi friends, this is Vinay Joseph. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will be learning about a special magic square which is a 4 by 4 magic square constructed by using any seven consecutive natural numbers. The numbers that I have chosen for today's special magic square are 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and 17. <coughs> So, by using these seven natural numbers, let us try to construct a 4 by 4 magic square. And what will be the magic sum? The magic sum will be the average of the seven natural numbers that we have chosen is to be first found out. And how do we get the average or the other terminology that we use to find the average is arithmetic mean. It is got by adding all the seven natural numbers and we divide the sum that we get by seven. If you remember the formula to calculate the arithmetic mean which is denoted by x bar that is given by sigma x divided by n. Okay. Now if I find the sum of the natural numbers that I have chosen, that will be equal to 98 and when I divide it by 7, I will get the answer as 14. <clears throat> the magic sum of the special magic square that I am constructing today will be 14, the average that I got now, multiplied by the number of rows that is 4 or number of columns that also is 4 that should be equal to 56. So, the magic sum should be equal to 56. The base square is a 4 by 4 square. The numbers that I have chosen are 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and 17. So, these are the numbers that I have chosen. Should you also choose the same numbers? not needed. You can choose any seven consecutive natural numbers. When you practice, you can try that. This is the base square that I have taken. 11 is taken only once, 12 is twice, 13 is thrice, 14 is four times, 15 thrice, 16 twice and 17 once. So, 11 and 17 are taken only once. Dear friends, this is the base square and this is the final special magic square that I am constructing. And the number of rows are 4, R1, R2, R3 and R4. And we have 4 columns, C1, C2, C3 and C4. From the base square, the principal diagonal elements 
I will retain them as it is. 11, 13, 15 and 17. So the principal diagonal elements from the base square I am retaining as it is. The secondary diagonal elements also I will retain as it is. The secondary diagonal elements in the base square are 14, 14, 14 and 14. <coughs> now the other grids are to be filled up. Now how do I fill up the other grids? From the base square in the first column the second element which I am showing you using a small circle and in the third column the last element 16. These two I will interchange and write. So in the final square 16 comes in the place of 12 and 12 comes in the place of 16. These two circled elements are interchanged. In column number 1, I have the third element as 13. In column number 2, I have the fourth element as 15. These two elements I have denoted by using a small tick mark. Those two we will interchange. So 15 comes here in the place of 13 and 13 comes in the place of 15. Likewise, the four grids which are empty now, they are to be filled up. The element in the second column top, that is 12, I am going to show it in a small triangle. For the benefit of you, when you are practicing, you can easily identify the elements. And the element which is in the fourth column, third slot these two elements we are going to interchange. So instead of 12, I will write 16 in column 2 top slot and in column 4, the third slot which was 16, I will write it as 12. Now only two more grids are to be filled up. Column 3 first element that is 13, column 4 the second element that is 12. I have shown those two elements by underlining them. These two elements are interchanged. So in column 3 the first element will be 15 and in column 4 the second element will be 13. Here we have the magic square, the special magic square, which is a 4 by 4 magic square, constructed by using 7 consecutive natural numbers and whose sum or magic sum is equal to 56. And what do we mean by the magic sum? If you add the elements of any column or if you add the elements of any row or if you add the principal diagonal elements or the secondary diagonal elements, the sum, the magic sum will be 56. And how did we get this 56? The average of all the seven consecutive natural numbers that we took multiplied by the order of the 
magic square. This is a fourth order magic square, meaning to say it has four rows and four columns. So, we will multiply the average that we get by 4 and the average that we got was 14. 14 into 4 is 56. You will have to sit with your books, listen to the video, see the construction of the magic square, practice it multiple times and then you will have to start constructing magic squares with your own set of seven natural numbers. It's not that by learning you will be understanding. You will have to go one step further. After learning, your understanding will enhance if you share it with your friends, share it with your family. See that the learning is continuous. Please subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment in the comment section. Share it with your friends. And never forget, learning should be continuous and should be consistent and should be orderly. A lot, a fixed time for your studies. And don't miss your studies and revision. Along with that, your prayer helps you and the blessings of your parents also will help you. Please take care, be safe and God bless.